Syracuse University against the University of Miami. The game in a minute after this message. This is Gene Kelly speaking. As a bull-minded and determined band of Syracuse University Orangemen take the field for the last regularly scheduled time in 1960. However, squad members and coaching staff alike know that a victory here over Miami will probably ensure a postseason bowl invitation. The host team would like nothing better than to upset the highly regarded New Yorkers. Syracuse is favored in this intersectional clash under the Orange Bowl arc lights. The Orange have a six and two log, but the Miami Hurricanes five and two are always a dangerous and most worthy foe. Pre-game color is the top order of the night, and kids as well as grown-ups enjoy the frolicking. With kickoff time approaching, the captains meet at midfield. For host Miami, it's number 89, Frank Reinhardt, number 74, Charles Lenning, and number 52, Reuben Mills. The Syracuse Quartet is number 59, Al B. Miller, number 17, Dick Reimer, and the Mortino Brothers, number 74, Lou, and number 82, Fred. Miami wins the toss and will receive. Syracuse, in its brand new blue uniforms, elects to defend the East Goal. The temperature at game time is 75 degrees with no wind, and it's a great night for football. Over 46,000 fans as Kent Erickson kicks off for Syracuse. Doug Davis makes the grab and returns it to the Miami 32. Quarterback Eddie Johns gets the Hurricanes howling early. He hits and Bill Miller for 18 all the way to midfield. Nick Ryder skirts the left side and he totals six yards. Al B. Miller helps stop the charge. On second and four, Eddie Johns fades to pass, but he's swarmed under, and it's an eight-yard loss. The Hurricanes are forced to punt. Stan Markowski toes the leather. Dick Reimer returns nine yards to the Syracuse 30, with Bob Eggert making the stop. But a clipping penalty against Syracuse Sets him back 15 yards. Dave Surrett is the Syracuse play caller, and he elects to toss. Ernie Davis latches on, and he's good for five yards. Ernie Davis skirts the right flank, and he gets nine before Sam Fernandez can make the stop. First and 10 on the orange, 29. Dave Surrett again goes to the sky. Fred Mortino is his mate on a 12-yard first down maneuver. From the Syracuse 41, Pete Brokaw is nominated for the orange. Pete assaults left tackle for eight as Jim O'Mahony and Jerry Reynolds yell, whoa! Surrett returns to the clouds, but defensive halfback Racy Timmons intercepts and Miami takes over. From the Miami 39, Eddie Johns drops back to pass for the Hurricanes, but Bruce Tarbox and Dave Megacy down him for a loss of eight. Nick Ryder is trapped and downed by Ernie Davis for a four-yard loss. Ryder comes right back over the left side. This time he finds daylight. And he races for 36 yards to the Syracuse 37 before Art Baker can stop him. Miami halfback Jim Volenweider rams right guard for four yards. From the 33, Volenweider tries again. This time he gets three. It's third and three, and Eddie Johns decides to pass. Ron Fritsch makes the happy grab, and it's first and 10 on the Syracuse 15. 
but the Hurricanes encounter rough sailing. Eddie Johns loses the handle on a tackle thrust, and alert Dick Easterly makes the big recovery for Syracuse on the Orange Five. Fullback John Nichols charges for nine yards and just a little bit of daylight. However, an offsides penalty sets Syracuse back. Nichols barrels up the slot, but he can net only two yards. Hoping to pick up the first down, John Mackey sweeps the left side. He gets four. But a measurement finds the orange just a little bit shy of a first down. It's fourth down from the orange 15, and Tom Gilberg attempts to punt. Frank Reinhardt blocks the kick and finally kicker Gilberg recovers and carries to his own five yard line. But Miami takes over. First and goal to go. With a payoff station in sight, Racy Timmons charges right guard and it bends for two yards. Jim Volenweider takes his turn and he gets two yards. Here's a big play. Fritch hits the left side and it bends for a touchdown. With only 29 seconds left in the first quarter, Miami leads 6 0. Al Dangle tries the extra point from placement. It's good. Miami leads Syracuse 7 0. Syracuse loses 15 yards for a personal foul on the point after as Bob Wilson kicks off for Miami. Pete Brokaw returns to the Syracuse 24. Dave Surrett circles the right flank for three yards as Bob Dentel makes the tackle. A penalty sets the orange back, but Pete Brokaw starts on the road back with an eight-yard effort as the first period ends. Score, Miami 7, Syracuse nothing. Dave Surrett tries left guard, and he's good for five as Jim O'Mahony tackles, but the Syracuse drive stalls. And on fourth down from the Syracuse 27, Tom Gilberg kicks for the orange. Racy Timmons calls for a fair catch on the Miami 33, and the Syracuse bench looks glum. Miami sends Nick Ryder over left guard on a three yard mission. Art Baker tackles. Eddie Johns fakes to fire on second down, seven from the Miami 36, but Ken Erickson makes a great tackle, and it's a loss of nine. Stan Markowski will punt for the host Hurricanes. His spiraling effort is caught by Ernie Davis, and Ernie shakes free. He totals 32 yards on the way to the Miami 34. Ernie Davis batters the right side, and it opens up for seven yards. Third down and one from the Miami 25. Ernie Davis gets the call to skirt the left flank and he does a thorough job. It's a TD for the Orange and they trail now by only one at 7-6. Let's look at that brilliant 25-yard run from Coach Ben Schwartzwalder's point of view. Any way you look at it, it spells touchdown. On the extra point try, Dave Surrett holds and Ken Erickson boots. It's good, and the score is tied at 7-7. With 10 minutes, 38 seconds left in the first half, Ken Erickson kicks off a Syracuse. Sam Fernandez rolls for 30 yards on a nice return to his 39. Ron Fritsch barrels over left tackle for seven as Gene Stanson and company makes the stop for Syracuse. Jim Volenweider chalks up five. 
and the Hurricanes have a first down in Syracuse territory. Stymied for the next two downs, Eddie Johns tries the air lanes. But and Bill Miller just misses on a spectacular try. Fourth down and eight from the Orange 47. Stan Markowski punts for Miami. John Mackey receives, but Racy Timmons makes a great tackle for the Hurricanes. First and ten on the Syracuse 11. Fullback John Nichols initiates a Syracuse drive with a nine yard burst to the 20. Gary Fallon bends the Hurricane Bailiwick for three yards and a first down on the 23. Dave Surrett is the orange pilot now. He pitches out to John Mackey and Big John chalks up four yards. Switching strategy, Surrett befuddles the Hurricanes. His pass to Dave Baker nets nine yards and a first down of the orange 38. The orange continue to roll as John Nichols slashes left guard for seven Hurricane yards. Nichols decides on an encore. This time the hurricane damage adds up to six yards. An offsides penalty and a sturdy defense calls a momentary haul to the orange push and Tom Gilberg punts on fourth down. Racy Timmons makes a fair catch on the Miami 20. With three minutes left in the first half Miami sends Ron Fritch spinning for 11 before Syracuse's Gary Fallon calls a halt. A penalty stymies the Hurricanes for the moment, but not for long. Jim Volenweider speeds away from everyone, including our cameraman, and the gain is a very tidy 17 yards. However, another penalty, this one for clipping, nullifies the game. It's fourth down on the Miami 13, and Stan Markowski puts the foot back in the football. His 46 yard endeavor rolls dead on the Syracuse 44. With time running out in the opening half, Ernie Davis gets an orange call. Ernie jukes and jogs over the right side on a beautiful 24 yard maneuver. From the Miami 36, quarterback Dick Easterly runs left on the option. He's hit hard and fumbles. Tackle John O'Day recovers for Miami at the Hurricane 37 as the first half ends. Score Miami 7, Syracuse 7. We'll be back after this message. The first half saw Syracuse rack up six first downs to five for Miami. Syracuse totaled 151 yards net to Miami's 116. The second half should be a beauty. And here's the kickoff. Bob Wilson toes the pigskin for Miami. Ernie Davis returns to the Syracuse 23. The Orange get rolling as Dave Surrett on a keeper play accounts for four yards. Surrett calls for the draw and Art Baker eats up six yards of hurricane real estate. After a measurement it's first down Syracuse on their 34. Now it's Ernie Davis's turn. He gets three to his 37. Davis comes back for more. This time he reaches the 40. Davis carries for the third time in a row and he gains three yards. The tape measure is called for again and Syracuse is about a foot shy of a first down. Quarterback Surrett nominates Davis for the fourth time in a row and it looks as though he'll make the first down. He does. 
Switching signals abruptly, Dave Surrett goes for the jackpot. He fires deep downfield, but number 32, Racy Timmons, makes a key interception at the Miami 14. A great play. Quarterback Eddie Johns nominates Jim Bolenweider to start a hurricane push, and he gets two yards. Bolenweider is a valuable man in the Miami cast. This time he gets eight yards. Third down and a half yard. Quarterback John sneaks over the middle and it's first down Miami. Charlie Yanda is the ball carrier and Ken Erickson pins him for a five yard loss. With the ball resting on the Miami 20, Ron Fritch charges through for a pickup of four. Quarterback Johns is calling a beautiful game. He rifles to Fritch and it's good for a first down on the Miami 34. But the defense sparkles and Stan Markowski will punt. The ball rolls dead on the orange 27. Now Gary Fallon revives the Syracuse charge with a spine-tingling 25-yard run into hurricane land. John Nichols slams right guard for a gain of two. On second and eight, Surrett flies high. His attempted pass to John Mackey is ruled complete as interference is called on the Miami 36. First and ten on this big break. Syracuse is quick to capitalize as Gary Fallon breaks over the right side and he's off to the races on a beautiful 36 yard TD gallop. With 520 left in the third period at Syracuse 13, Miami 7. Care to see that play again from an official's viewpoint? Well, all right. Fallon churns like a bull en route to the end zone. With Surrett holding, Ken Erickson attempts the extra point. It's perfect, and Syracuse leads 14-7. A penalty forces Syracuse to kick off from its 25, as Ken Erickson does the toe-tapping honors. Sam Fernandez receives, but number 86, Brian Howard, applies the stopper for Syracuse. Ron Fritch spins and whirls over the left side for seven yards. From his own 39, Johns decides to pass. It's intended for Miller, but Whitey Reimer intercepts. However, a personal foul nullifies the play and returns the ball to Miami. From the orange 46, Jim Volenweider bolts up the middle on a draw play to pick up 10 yards and a first down. Halfback Nick Ryder runs beautifully on an 18-yard jaunt to the Syracuse 18. Dick Easterly makes the stop. The Hurricanes are hot now, and Jim Volenweider keeps them that way. He picks up six. Bolin Wider tries again, but this time Fred Mortino halts the charge on the Syracuse 10. Nick Ryder tries left guard, but John Howell throws up a roadblock and it's a two yard loss. From the 12, Eddie Johns goes airborne. Jim Bolin Wider catches and moves to the four before Dick Reimer can stop him. First and goal from the four. Ron Fritch spins over left guard for three yards. From the one, hard-working Jim Volenweider fights his way into pay dirt with a Miami six-pointer. The Hurricanes are only one down as George McIntyre attempts the conversion. 
It's good. And the score is tied at 14 all with 29 seconds left in the third quarter. Bob Wilson kicks off for Miami to Ernie Davis. And Wilson hurries downfield to make the tackle at the 20 as the third period ends. Score tied at 14 all. Art Baker tours the left flank for seven as Syracuse starts goalward. Pete Brokaw gets the call, but he can't hang on. He fumbles, and center Bob Dentel recovers for Miami at the Syracuse 29. After three plays move the ball to the orange 20, inches remain for a first down. However, Miami elects to try for a field goal. Al Dangle kicks. It's up and no good as the score remains tied at 14. Syracuse must do or die as time is fleeting. Ernie Davis whirls on a thrilling 20-yard excursion to the 40. Art Baker hits the left side for five. It's Baker once more, and once more, big yardage is gained. He gets 13 here. From the Miami 42, Ernie Davis plunges up the middle for 10, and Syracuse appears to be in high gear right now. Taking a pitch out, Davis rambles for seven to the Miami 25. A virtual one-man gang, Ernie Davis belts the right side for seven and a first down on the 18. Pistol Pete Brokaw rumbles over the left flank for eight, and Syracuse has only 10 yards from the promised land. Bread and butter man Ernie Davis belts the Miami Ford wall for three, and it's first and goal to go from the seven. Ernie slices off another four-yard chunk of Miami territory. From the three, Davis pushes over right guard for three yards and a touchdown. Syracuse 20, Miami 14. The slow motion camera pinpoints Ernie Davis as we review this fine TD plunge of a moment ago. Touchdown, Syracuse. Ken Erickson attempts the conversion from placement. It's good, and Syracuse leads Miami 21-14. Syracuse's Ken Erickson kicks off. Ron Fritsch returns the boot to the Miami 32, and now the Hurricanes must get moving. Quarterback Eddie Johns selects the sky route. Ted Sosell takes the screen, and it adds up to 12 yards. From the Miami 49, Eddie Johns fakes a pass, then darts up the middle for eight yards and a first down on the orange 43. Mr. Johns goes to the air once more. Larry Wilson makes the grab for a first down on the Syracuse 33. Although the ball appeared to be trapped, the refs rule otherwise. Ron Fritsch belts left guard for a pickup of three. Eddie Johns has the Hurricanes ablaze right now. Even though Art Baker and Vic Easterly tip the ball, Johns' pass is complete to Saucell for 19 yards and a first down on the Syracuse 15. Ted Saucell roams the right side for six, and Miami is on the Syracuse nine. Saucell is called upon to stage an encore. He gets three before Dick Easterly halts him on the six. On fourth and one from the six, 
Eddie Johns back to pass, fumbles, and Big John Howell saves the day with a recovery for the Orange. Syracuse takes over, and moments later, the game ends with mighty Syracuse prevailing 21-14 over a dangerous Miami team. In addition to the great offense displayed by the Orange today, let's salute the Syracuse defense for a tremendous job in this all-important game. We'll be back with the player of the week after this message. Ernie Davis is our player of the week. All-America Ernie gained 130 yards on 16 carries. Congratulations, Ernie. And congratulations, Bill Orange, for a fine season.